Hey all, I'm Matt Gothard and I've been a full-time butcher for around 12 years. I have my own little butcher shop called Bates Butchers in a small market town in the Midlands called Atherston. Last year we were awarded Butcher Shop of the Year for the Midlands and East of England. We are proper traditional butchers with a few modern twists. We aim to source all of our meat from local farmers within an 8 mile radius of our shop. Now, some of the questions I get frequently asked in the shop are How do I get proper crackling on a pork joint? How do I break down a chicken? How do I prepare and cook an ox tongue? Or what do I do with ox cheeks? In these masterclasses, I'm going to give you an insight into butchery using a variety of different techniques and showcasing an array of different cuts and products. So let's get started. On the block here today, we've got a full lamb. And with the lambs, you get spring lamb, hoggett lamb, and mutton. So with the spring lambs, we've probably heard of spring lambs, they run, well, they're, they're, they run from May up until Christmas. So they'll be born early this year, and then from May, you will start getting them through to the shops up until Christmas. And with the spring lamb, it's a bit of a paler colour, um, slightly pink, it's a very tender to eat, and there's not much fat on it. So with the hoggett lamb, you've probably not heard of hoggett lamb as much, um, with the hoggett lamb, they run from Christmas, after Christmas, onwards. So they're over a year old. It's a bit of a deeper colour red, um, and there's a bit more fat on it, and they do like the shoulders, do require a bit more braising. So when you come to mutton, with it being two years and over, then it's a real deep, intense red colour, with a lot more fat, and can be a lot tougher. So that requires a lot more cooking, a lot more, like, with slow braising, that requires a lot more cooking, a lot more like slow braising, even with the legs sometimes. It's great for stews, curries, hot pots. So what I'll do now, we'll stop, I'll stop talking, I'll start breaking down this lamb. So we've got a lamb there, and on the lamb you've got the legs, you've got the loin, and you've got the shoulders. So on the loin, you've got, obviously got the breasts on the loin as well. So what I'll do for a start, how I'll do it, I'll get my knife, and I'll use like a five inch boning knife, just to touch up on the steel. And what I'll do, I'll break the legs off. So, as the lamb stands there, there's a, little, there's a little dip from where the leg joins the loin. And in that dip is where you're going to cut. So you make the incision there, and come across. And as you come across, you should have hit the joint. And what we'll do, we'll just bend that across. A nice bit of noise there for you. And then we'll cut. We'll break the legs off there. So we've got the legs separated from now the shoulder and the loin. And with the shoulder and the loin, to separate that, we'll take five ribs off the shoulder. We'll take it five ribs down. Count five ribs, and we'll make an incision. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and make another incision. Where your incisions are, you draw your line. Just there. Then get your saw and just go through the through the bone there. And you're coming down onto the shoulder. And you've separated now the loin, the shoulder, and the legs. So there's your shoulder. And as you can see there, I've just nicked the blade bone there. So that's the blade bone, that's your shoulder. There's your loin, and there's your legs. Right, on the shoulder, you've got a neck. So we'll take the neck off, just by separate, just by making an incision there, and saw down. And there's your neck and your shoulder. As you see me do this here, a lot, every butcher butchers differently, like, like depending on your region and your customers. So you probably watch my demo, but you've seen another butcher do it differently. It's not because I'm doing it wrong or they're doing it wrong, it's because we're just butchering to each other's regions. Now, as you see the shoulders there, they look like a big chunk of meat. We need to separate them down in the butcher shop. And with my shop, all the lads that I've got working for me, they'll all break, they'll all break the lambs down to a similar spec. And that's the spec, I'm just going to break it down quickly for you. So there, we make an incision, and we cut down there. And when you're buttering, always use your tip of your knife when, you, when you're boning out, because it's going to be the sharpest point on your knife, and you've got more control when you're boning out if you're using the tip. But it, it's like an extension of your finger. Where you want to point, that's where you're going to cut. That's why you just use the very tip. It just creates, makes it a lot neater when you're cutting. Don't make big slashes. 
Speed will come with time when you're buttering. So as I'm going to go down here, I'm going to break this shoulder off. Just there. And I'm coming down onto the bone now. So I've gone down the, gone down the rib cage. I'm coming onto the bone at the bottom. And you make an incision there and just follow it down the neck bones. And as it, it will slowly come off then. And you come then onto the paddy whack. So you go through the paddy whack, and there you have your butt, you've took off your first shoulder allowance. Right, and now I'm going to just take the other one off as well. Similar method. Come down the bone using the tip of your knife again. And as you butcher it, using the tip of your knife all the time cutting down and trying to keep as little meat on the bones as possible. Obviously it's a little bit, but that's where you get a bit of trim. And with the trim, it never goes to waste. So like with, you'll be trimming this up, you can see there's a bit of meat on these bones, and there's like little bits of meat. We'll use them for like further processing, like burgers, kebabs, like even lamb sausage or anything like that. So nothing ever gets wasted. And as you can, there you are, there's, another, there's the other shoulder lamp. There. Right, so there we are, breaking down a lamp into several different primals. Now don't forget to support your local butcher, pop in and have a chat with them about the best cuts for you to try. I'm sure they will have a lot of great advice. That's all for this masterclass, bye for now.